The more he shows up to markets that the opposition doesn't think he stands a chance to win, you know what they keep saying? Things like this. Rob, pull up the Hochul clip in New York while she's talking to Jake Tapper, and this is after thousands of people showed up in Bronx. Look what she says, making fun of the supporters of Trump. Go ahead, Rob. Well, I'll tell you it won't make a difference at all, Jake, and that is for Donald Trump to be the ringleader of a, and invite all his clowns to a place clowns. like the Bronx. Jeez. New York will never, ever support Donald Trump for president. We know him better than anyone, and that means we understand what he's all about is just for himself. So <clears throat> this state will go solidly behind Joe Biden for president, as it has in the past. So he wants to spend his time uh, doing these made-up fake rallies and pretending they're supporting here. He might guess, because while you're doing that, Donald Trump... Joe Biden's out there on the other right. side, Passing, making sure he's delivering for all Americans. And so go ahead, spend all your time you want in New York, because we'll be with Joe Biden, and Joe Biden's out there winning over the rest of the battleground states. So you know what I'd like to see? I'd like to see the made-up fake crowd. I, I, I would love to see you have a Biden made-up fake crowd of 20,000 people. Just make it happen. Okay, how many people show up when he comes to speak or campaign? Three hundred. And by the way, I'm talking not. without Obama showing up. No Obama, just him by himself. How many people will show up to see how interested they are in what he has to say? Right. Yeah. But the more they do this, this goes back to what they did in 2016, which is try to trash the opponent, and they just pissed off the voter base more and more and more. And they said, did you just call me a clown? No problem. I'm going to show up with 50 clowns. <laughs> I was planning on only voting with one other clown, but this time I'm showing up with 50 clowns. Yeah. No problem. All these clowns are going to beat you. Yeah. That's what you're doing to the opposition. Tom, thoughts on this? Uh, thoughts on this? <clears throat> I think that there is a very real chance, maybe only 15 percent, but rising, that she's going to regret that clip. Sienna Pohl has it at 9%, actually 8.9% to be exact, which is as close as as Trump has well, ever been. Can you tell us what that means? What's 8.9%? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sienna, which is one of their polls, it's one of Kathy Hochul's favorite pollsters, has Biden versus Trump in the state of New York. Trump is at 8.9% behind Biden. It was a 24% crushing in the election. And you hear what's That's going insane. on. So guess what? The polls are saying is that these made up rallies in the Bronx apparently are also made up voters who are uh, not made up and showing up in the polls. And, and you think like especially I, I don't know what it is with the left. They cannot help themselves by learning a lesson. Hillary Clinton, when she said a basket of deplorables that, like you said, sent everybody downhill. Are you not? Learning your lesson that the more you mess with our side, you're you're putting gasoline on the fire. With all this all the stuff with all the law that they're doing with Trump, you're making him stronger, you're making him more popular. Whoever is in charge, and I know Hillary and Obama and all them are in charge of this thing, they they will they are so stuck in their stupid ways, they'll never shift tactics. Shift your tactic, leave him alone. I'm telling you right now, PBD, if they if they stopped saying Trump and stop saying stuff like that, they actually might have a chance. That is if they don't if they don't cheat, which we, we, we all know. I know it's going to happen, but just just shut up. Leave them alone. Don't talk about them. Don't talk about us. Clowns. You know how many New Yorkers I was? 25,000 people. You just lumped all them. And you're the governor, you idiot. What are you, what are you talking about? You, you are governing those clowns. And let's see if she's going to get reelected with that with that dumbass rhetoric. Adam, what do you think about these clowns showing up for Trump? Yeah, uh, my fellow uh, clown New Yorkers. I don't, I don't have a, a massive issue with what she said only because it's indicative of how divisive and fracturized and tribalized politics is these days you would want you would think all right you're the governor of new york you should govern everybody you know you should probably try to be a leader you know this is someone who wasn't necessarily like elected per se she came in on the heels after um andrew cuomo was sort of tossed out mm -hmm. and she was you know Anointed, and she had a very close election with um, Lee. Z Z Lee Zeldin. Lee Zeldin. Yep. Um, from but Republican District I, 1. I think this Island. is a story that is here today, gone tomorrow. I don't think most Americans, from a national perspective, can even tell you who the governor of New York is, Kathy Hochul. Uh, will people in New York remember this? For sure. Um, and Tom brought up some stats. You know, what, what, what do you always say that um, people talk, numbers scream? Um, 
New York button 2020, the election, Biden 60 percent, Trump 38 uh, percent. So it was a 22 point, uh, 22 percent difference. Five point two million people voted for Biden and three point two million people voted for Trump. So you got to flip two million votes in the state of New York. The more the thing that I'm more concerned with is, you know, on the heels of that, the people came out and they were like, and we got to get rid of AOC. And I was like, you know what? That seems a little bit more reasonable and feasible because this is her district in the Bronx, right? Um, you know that she won in 2018 was her first term, I believe. She won with 80% of the vote almost. 2020, because representatives run every two years, so every year they're they're governing and then they're campaigning. They're governing and they're campaigning. 2020, she won with 70% of the vote. And then in 2022, she won with another 70% of the vote, meaning her, her opponent had like 27% of the vote. So as much as we're seeing this rally in the Bronx, what's the chance of uh, him, uh, him winning? In AOC New York? is not. Uh, what's the chance of Trump lose? winning in New York? Two uh, percent. What's the chance of him winning in New York? Fifteen percent. Tom, I'm ten fifteen percent right now. You're ten fifteen percent. What about you? I'm probably closer to five to ten percent of yeah. him winning New York. But let me tell you this part: if he does pull off New York and beats them. There is a revolution going on. Yes. Okay. To if he beats New York, if he beats New York, um, overnight. I mean, you think the highlight video was was wild of people crying in 2016? Mm-hmm. When <laughs> imagine the people in New York who are going to be crying oh. just because of him. <clears throat> you you almost like I would honestly pay a hundred thousand. <laughs> I would pay a million dollars <laughs> on Manek mm-hmm. if Kathy Hoka was on Manek to do a 15 minute call. While they announced that Trump beats her in New York and takes New York. If that were to happen, I'd pay a million bucks just to look at her face for 15 minutes around her family just to see how she reacts. <laughs> I'm fully agree and with by, you, by you know, the way. Mother, this, fully is the, this is the Pure same, entertainment for me. Yeah. This is the same Kathy Hochul that not only thinks that they're all clowns, she's the one, remember, that said black kids don't know what the word computer is. So she literally mm-hmm. thinks that we are stupid, that black people are ignorant, and these are the people that are in charge. Same as Gavin Newsom, same as... They think that they are better than us, they think that they're elitist, and I can't wait for their, the house of cars to start coming down and people like this to get the hell out when of When is she up for Tired. re-election? So it couldn't be soon enough. Hopefully tomorrow. I don't even know. It's the last week to compete for the Manette Contest. If you go up to the Manette Contest here, if you haven't yet downloaded the app, I, uh, Rob, if you want to go to some of the Manette QR codes, download the app, start asking questions and participating with different folks that what we have going on right now, there's a couple new guys that came on that are starting to get a lot of Manettes. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.